They are called a thousand year storm, but in Ellicott City, and you may know firsthand, they've experienced two of those thousand year storms in less than a decade. Now, Howard County taking more steps to prevent it from happening again. And WJZ on your corner, live in Ellicott City tonight. Paul Gessler at the new Quaker Mill Pond, which officials hope will protect now the historic city. Paul. On your corner, Rick, on the corner of Rogers and Patapsco River Road. And this is the ditch that has a 3.3 million gallon capacity. That's important because Main Street is right down there. And just a couple blocks down, historic old Ellicott City is less than a mile away. A community still reeling from flash floods in 2016 and 2018. Maria Martinez shows us the back of her store on Main Street. The flood waters hit so so dramatically. The floor is slanted from flood waters. You have a lump in your throat, and your heart gets heavy because you don't know what to expect. Martinez describes the anxiety she and business owners feel every time a storm comes. Flash floods in 2016 and 2018 exposed Ellicott City's vulnerability. The pair of deadly thousand-year storms brought millions of gallons of flood water racing down Main Street. We want to build a more climate-resilient state. Monday morning, some of that anxiety washes away. This is really big for Ellicott City. Howard County and state officials opened the Quaker Mill Pond. A dry pond that will hold water and it will make sure that it won't get to Ellicott City too fast and too dangerously. This is the second flood mitigation pond the county has opened in the past five months. The first, known as H7, at the intersection of 40 and 29, opened in October. The county has also installed signage and sound systems to alert people to danger. That pond represents hope, it represents progress, and it represents the beginning of the remaining journey that we have. Back live now, this dry pond is just one piece of what's known as the EC Safe and Sound Plan. There are three other ponds at various stages of funding and development, the county executive says, that have not yet broke ground. The county also hopes to build a tunnel to divert water from nearby all the way to the Patapsco River. For now, reporting live in Ellicott City along Rogers and Patapsco River Road, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.